r slash ask reddit. What's your greatest internet accomplishment? Someone threatened a school shooting on WoW forums about 12 or 13 years ago, and I saw it right when it was posted. I managed to figure out where the guy was and alerted the proper authorities. The threat had merit and the guy got busted. I got a thank you from the cops. Edit. I did have help from a local newspaper reporter in his area, mainly help with properly notifying the right people. Edit 2. All I did was talk to the guy and tried to relate to him. He flat out told me what town he was in and I just made a few phone calls. I couldn't get any traction, so I sent a message to a local newspaper on the advice of someone else. The reporter reached out to me and then he ran with it in terms of law enforcement. I don't know exactly what happened after that, but I had an email thanking me for the heads up from the PD. Edit 3. Thank you everyone. I never really thought much of it at the time, I just did what all of us would do. Looking back I think the guy who made the threat was obviously looking for attention, but I think he needed help. I don't understand psychology, hell I don't even understand myself, but I think he needed help, and that was his way of asking. He gave me all the info I needed to do what I did. I'm no hero. Edit 4. People thank you, but stop talking me up, or my head will get too big, and I'll float off. Edit 5 I didn't know platinum and awards work this way. Thank you. I will award others responsibly. XOXO. My name is on Microsoft Technet as a researcher acknowledgement, because I found a pretty serious vulnerability in Skype. I once found a bug in shopping cart software that gave you free products. My boss's name went on it. Essentially, it was fossil code from when the system was written in two Philippines pesos or something, and they rolled some of their own routines which had an integer overflow. I only noticed it because the demo site had the one ring as a sample item at some crazy high price, so to be a dick I added 100 of them to the cart. Suddenly the cart had a very wrong total price. You'd have had to add so much to your order in real world sites that hopefully somebody would have noticed something off. I also found an information leakage bug in a webmail site. I could read the email somebody else had sent from a shared computer. The spell check function sent over get and therefore put the text into URL autocomplete. The site claimed this was not a bug as they did not control the browser behavior. I convinced the Skyte Ike that I'd found a bug for like 5 minutes before somebody pointed out that the odd and irrational results I was seeing was in fact a consequence of the SQL standard saying to do things that way. I joined a Minecraft server back in 2012 which had a clan system, but there was only one clan, and it had about 40 people in it, because every other clan was immediately squashed by them. Myself, my cousin, and one friend completely overthrew them, and cemented ourselves as leaders of the server for probably the next year after that. I came back like two years later, and people would be like holy shit, you're the trick daddy red, I've heard stories about your clan. I started a joke thread on the official forum of a video game back in 2008. It was just something whimsical and satirical, that I didn't think too much about at the time, but it absolutely exploded. Not only did it get about 50 pages of responses, but once it died it would get rebumped every few months, at the end of every season of the game. I quit the game about 6 months later, but some years later I came across the link to the thread and I clicked on it. It turned out the post lived on, and carried on getting bumped, and generating a ton of responses all the way until the game eventually died in 2014. Which you would think, would be the end of it. But I found out some years later, that the game ended up having a sequel, and some of the players from the original game recreated the original thread on the new games forum, and it was still generating traffic. There are probably people commenting on it who weren't even born, when the thread was originally posted. Holy shit dude lol what game? It was a football game called Goal Line Blitz. Is this something outsiders would understand without playing or no? A link would be awesome. Actually yes. In fact with hindsight it was a post that applies to all games to an extent, even though the video game landscape was a lot different back then, which is probably what gave it a timeless quality. Basically it was a game where you manage a football, American football not soccer, team or you could play as a single player instead, I can't remember exactly how it worked, and you could train your skills, and choose your formations and plays etc and the season would play out, and you would play against other teams managed by other players etc, so it was competitive. 
Just like all PvP games there were people who complained that the outcomes were not really random and the game was rigged in various ways, that they had been cheated out of games and so on. My post looked like a post like this, claiming I was really pissed off that I lost the big final, the equivalent of the Super Bowl I guess, when my team was far better, but actually I was talking about the real life Super Bowl where the Giants beat the Patriots, the one where David Terry pinned the ball to his head. I thought it was really obvious that it was a piss take, but loads of people, and specifically loads of the mods and the lead developer of the actual game, thought I was being serious and posted replies making fun of me before people eventually figured it out. I don't have a link to hand unfortunately, in fact I have no idea if the forum even still exists, but if I can find it, I will post it, edit, found it, or an archived copy of it at least. I made a bootleg comic book site back in the 90s. I used GRCities and used each registration to host one comic book, then used another one to link them all together. I scanned all the comics from my collection. I even had an HTML template with the page numbers embedded, so I would upload the same site with images. That's not the accomplishment part. I had a PHP BB forum for conversation and requests with a few thousand members. Two members met there and got married from it. I think they lived in different countries too. That was cool. The rest was a waste of time I guess. I found Minecraft very early in development thanks to a browser add-on called StumbleUpon that put a random website button on your bar. I've been playing almost since the game went public in dev stage thanks to it. I'm not sure if that qualifies as an accomplishment or not. My husband has been on Reddit for years. He finally convinced me to get it, and I bet him within the first two weeks I would exceed his 1200 karma. On the 13th day I made a comment that got over 27k upvotes that put me at 10k karma. He was in utter disbelief sitting beside me watching the comment grow and reach. Top comments haha. I still don't know what karma is and what is good slash bad. Karma comes from upvotes on posts and comments, I believe most times there is a limit to how much you can get off of each one. Downvotes subtracts karma from your number, if you click your profile picture it should tell you your karma and your reddit age. I got David Barton, crazy Christian nationalist that at least used to screw up Texas school books, to publish an article about how I was what was wrong with the youth in America. I went to a fundamentalist college and was a Christian at the time when everyone at my school was excited by his website, I think it was called Wall Boulders. He wrote this article insulting people who didn't think the US was founded intentionally to only ever be for Christians. I responded with a 7 page sourced paper on how most of us now wouldn't consider the founding fathers real Christians and that, while some likely wanted a Christian nation others were vocally against it so making the argument on intention would necessitate cherry picking who you cite. I also referenced how his extra sources he cites are dubious as he won't let anyone verify their authenticity. My core argument was just that we don't know what they overall wanted, and since they didn't explicitly make the US a theocracy it seems weird to take two to three founding fathers and apply their beliefs to all of them. For this he made a post talking about how 19 year old user freedom was literally what's wrong with the youth in America, and also was an idiot, and also secular humanist scum. A guide met me about an old comment I made on another account about parenting. Said he looked at it from time to time, when he felt like he needed guidance as a new dad. It was the sweetest thing. One time I apparently made someone pee outside of the bowl because they were laughing at a comment. The comment was one word, and it made my day. Got a bunch of awards and like, words of encouragement a few months ago for an angsty dump poem I posted. If I had to pick the one I'm proudest of, it's definitely the one on top. The second is a toss up. A few years ago I was playing some random game on the computer, called Crunkapoint.io I was playing so good that the number one clan in that game invited me. Edit. I also forgot to add that almost every time I played I would get accused of hacking because I was that good with a sniper. I don't play anymore since the new updates made it just feel weird and I don't think the clan exists anymore. It was called Opal. Sorry for the bad formatting I'm new so idk what's the proper way. I created the original Captain Phillips I'm the Captain now meme in high school 6 years ago. It got big enough to be stolen by Dory all those other damn accounts. 
I ended up deleting the tweet because I hated comment notifications since it got around 20k of each interaction. That was the biggest mistake to date because now no one believes that I created it besides a few classmates I don't speak to anymore smh. Original caption. When you're in a group project with unreliable people. I paid to play a game, not sure I'm allowed to say it, on two occasions. It is totally free to play, but unless you're a genius, or have no job and never sleep, you pay for guns slash ammo slash mining tools slash ships slash mind implants etc, and any loot you get is worth real money on a fixed exchange rate with the US dollar. Well I used to invest around £100 to £200 a month. I was single at the time, and lived at home. During that time I had two big loots, worth roughly $4k each, real money. 40k game money. I reinvested some, but wanted to move out, so I sold everything bar my actual character, and ended up with over £4,500 in total after conversion. A few months later, and the money was in my bank and I used it as a 5% deposit on a mortgage for a flat that I now own. Fun and monies.